Hey, what's up? This is Brian Kuzmar with Commercial Rare Coins and Precious Metals in beautiful Lauderdale by the Sea. I uh, hope your day was good. Beautiful day out there. And uh, we were quite busy today, uh, mostly selling gold and silver. It's been a mostly selling gold and silver, more than buying gold and silver. And if you know me, if you come in and you're selling at these lower levels, I'm pretty much mostly telling you, why are you selling this? Uh, and if people tell me, hey, I need some money or I'm taking a profit, I don't say anything. But if, if they tell me that they're afraid that it's going to stay down or go down, I usually tell them to hold it. And uh, if you know all my customers, I've mentioned that to or told them to hold and wait. They're all very thankful for it. So <laughs> I'm hoping that trend stays up. Anyway, like I said, lovely day out there. Let's kind of move along to what spot prices are. Kind of keep the report a little bit shorter than normal today. Um, it looks like uh, New York closed at 1954, and I believe yesterday I thought I said we were gonna. I think I said that we were gonna see uh, par value or a little bit higher, and that's kind of what we're seeing right here. Um, New York spot prices at 1954 were the close. You see a range here of 48 to 66. Uh, we're like in that 1900 to 2000 trading level, and it's kind of hovering in the middle there. If you've been noticing here, again, pay attention to trends. Like they, you know, you'll see things that happen over and over and over and over, and usually they consistently will happen, and then one day they don't. <laughs> uh, so, uh, but generally speaking, if you start to notice a trend, play it, play it. Uh, it's probably a, a a good sign, a good tell. Uh, so let's take a look at what happened to silver here, $27. Backed off a little bit later in the day, and you'll see that in the markets up here above in the world spot prices. Uh, but again, hanging around that $27, silver has actually been very tame. Uh, been hanging in, you know, give a dollar, take a dollar, but uh, kind of hanging in that area. So I like this. I, and what this tells me is that we are in a pause section, which is great. These markets need pauses. We need pauses. They're very healthy for the market. And I think we're kind of like in a pause area. And it seems like for the last couple of weeks, we've been kind of trading, or even longer, we've been trading in this mid $1,900 uh, level for gold and uh, silver in this uh, $27 range, give or take. Uh, so I like this. Uh, we've kind of uh, built a base, uh, and I think our base is definitely above 1900 for sure. And uh, silver base is definitely above 26 I'm pretty sure. And platinum has just held that nine hundred dollar level. Damn, I don't. I still think it's damn cheap, but uh, it just hasn't done anything. Uh, so I got to start reading more into platinum. I'll let you know what I find out when I do. Uh, world prices a little bit lower uh, on the spot prices. Silver two twenty six ninety one. Platinum nine twenty nine. So a tad lower than what New York closed at. I'm not quite sure. Let me auto refresh this just for a quick second, and let's see what happens here. Um, yeah, it looks like they're both down a little bit still uh, from uh, New York right here. So I suspect that what we're going to see, we're getting into the weekend. There still seems to be a little a softness in, in metals. And I don't mean softness like it's going to, you know, go down and this market's over. Not that way. I just meant like, you know, we're backpedaling a little bit uh, in, in this 1900 to 2000 range. Again, so we're in that $26, $28 range. Uh, mostly hanging around that $27 and platinum in that $900 range. So I think we're just kind of hanging here right now. I'm not quite sure that we'll see anything dramatic anytime soon. In fact, I suspect tomorrow, I, get, I think we'll see par value or slightly down tomorrow. Slightly down just based on what I'm seeing. Uh, but again, I don't think anything significant. And, uh, you know, just keep piling up your gold and silver at these levels if you haven't bought already. And uh, if you have bought already, just uh, uh, keep calm, relax. When, when you see these things, you know, if you see gold go from 1946 to 1919, don't panic. Even if it does a sub-1900, which I kind of doubt, but even if it does, it won't last long. Uh, and the same thing with silver. You see it pop down to 25. If you can buy these things, great. Uh, if you're already bought in, you don't have any more uh, money to buy more gold or silver, great. Just wait it out. Uh, and don't drive yourself crazy with these fluctuations because you're going to see a lot of it. You're going to see you're going to see some big down days too. You got to see that. Uh, it's healthy in these markets. Uh, so, anyways, <clears throat> let's move along here and take a look here. Here, my pause button. So that's where we're at in the pause button. Uh, I want to talk about some of the cheapest buys out there. So, if you live uh, 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 in my area, because again, I don't do any online sales and I don't do any over the phone sales. You have to live in my immediate area to deal with me. 
And like I said, if you don't live in my area and you don't know anyone in your area, call me. I've been in this business a long time. I may know somebody in your state, whether it's California, Michigan, wherever. Uh, I may be able to give you a good referral. Uh, if not, I'll, uh, I'll push you towards one of the online sellers uh, that I think are, are, are the better online sellers. Uh, anyway, feel free to give me a call. Uh, but for what it's worth right now, the, the cheapest buy in silver, uh, which has been the cheapest best buy in silver, if you want to buy silver, uh, is been 90%, and obviously you probably know I was going to say that because here's a picture of it. It is ugly as shit. It is old dimes, quarters, and halves uh, that are made by, think about this, made by the U.S. Mint who makes silver eagles. So, granted, it's ugly, but damn, it's made by the uh, U.S. Mint. It's, it's spot on a great product, and nobody counterfeits this stuff hardly. I don't think I've ever seen any counterfeit of this stuff. And then you can break it up into little tiny increments, quarters, dimes. and It's a great buy. It's the cheapest way to buy silver. And, but, you know, you can't get over the fact that it's ugly and it looks like change. So, uh, But again, it, you know, if you are in this just to buy silver and you don't care about pretty, because remember, you're not going to put this on a bezel and wear it. You're not going to run around showing your friends your, your silver. But, well, maybe you are going to sell them your, your, sell them your silver bars. But it's ugly as sin, but it is the cheapest way to buy silver right now. Uh, I highly recommend buying 90 if you're buying in the silver market. I don't care how much you're buying, whether you're buying $10 worth or a million dollars worth. Buy the 90 It's the cheapest way to get it at the moment. And uh, I'm going to tell you the cheapest thing in gold right now that seems to be consistently available is the South African Krugerrand. Uh, <clears throat> so, again, if you're coming in here to see me to buy coins, uh, silver gold, I'd recommend you buy 90%. Uh, if you're buying uh, gold, uh, Krugerrands, and the next uh, product from that would be Maple Leafs, which are about about five bucks an ounce or so higher, maybe ten at the most, but usually around five bucks an ounce higher. Uh, but the two cheapest products out there in the entire United States are 90% silver for silver and uh, Krugerrands. Two products I like. Uh, again, if the damn this stuff is just too damn ugly for you, <laughs> and you have to show your friends your your purchases, and you just don't want to show them ugly stuff that looks like change. Uh, then I've got some other products I can recommend that are slightly more than 90%. But again, it's a cheap product. Uh, not cheap product, it's a cheap premium for a great product. Uh, and the same thing with Uh they, we got other products too that you can pay a little bit more for. Uh, but again, I'm all about saving you dollars. So, hey, this week uh, I got a fake buffalo in. A fake buffalo one ounce gold coin in. And uh, I knew it. I, I've been doing this since I was a kid, so... Uh, and I'm not going to tell you how old I am, but I've been doing this since I was a kid, so I could literally spot fakes from three feet away without even getting close to them. Uh, and I spotted this from a distance just because of uh, the color difference and some other things. Uh, however, but a lot of people would have got fooled by this, and I told the customer it's definitely fake, and uh, I wanted to uh, take it from him and use it for an example, and they gave it to me, and, and I will likely destroy, the, not likely destroy this, uh, I will destroy this thing after I'm done giving the video because you don't want this stuff recirculating. Once you know something's a fake, smash it, throw it in the river, do something. You know you know how many of these Chinese counterfeits that I get in, uh, 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 silver dollars and stuff? I see them all the time in my store, people walk in with them, these fake Chinese counterfeits uh, of silver coins, and... Uh, I ask them, please, 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 now that you know they're counterfeit, when you walk out of here, please go throw them in the river. And uh, I, hopefully most of these people are because they don't need to recirculate out there. So if you got counterfeits, destroy them, please, uh, or melt them, whatever needs to be done. <clears throat> That's what we do. But anyway, I'll show you on a video. Take a look at my video page this weekend. I will show you that fake buffalo uh, and also maybe a few other tips to, sh to prevent yourself from buying fake buffaloes or other fake coins. So uh, look for my video this weekend. Uh, it should be up Saturday or Sunday. Uh, uh, I'll get it done as quick as I possibly can. So anyway, let's take a look at the uh, stock market today with the Wall Street Journal. I don't even go to the homepage anymore because it's just like all nonsense, like political bullshit and nonsense. I mean, really, uh, what's Biden's new China policy? Well, yeah, I don't know. That's kind of <clears throat> economic. Uh, uh, Dow Jones is down 405 points. And uh, it looks like it's kind of having a rough uh, last week or two. So the trend looks downward uh, with stocks and bonds. But again, I'm not an expert in that field. What I look for when I look at the Wall Street Journal, I'm looking for things that are going to tell me whether gold and silver will be up or down in the medium, short term, long term, or whatever. If I see a story in Wall Street Journal that tells me that 
the dollar is going to get stronger definitely the, here's the reason why this is the reason why then I'm probably going to recommend that you guys sell your gold <laughs> and silver that's if I see articles that tell me that the dollar is going to maintain strength and just become a stronger currency and we're all going to do better and the economy is going to get better. If I read into the Wall Street Journal, that's going to happen. I'm going to tell you to sell your gold and silver because you don't want to own gold and silver in that environment. However, in environments, rough times, in, in uncertain economic times, and times when the dollar is just being printed, I mean, they're just, they're, you know, they're just knocking them out there. <laughs> they're 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 printing. They don't really print it per se, but they're just creating more and more and more and more money. Uh, it, it, it's it's not helpful and it usually causes the price of gold and silver to go up. So if I see articles in the uh, Wall Street Journal that indicate to me that we're going to just keep printing money, we're going to just keep paying people to stay home and not work, which means really printing more money. Uh, uh, then uh, I'm going to tell you to buy and sell more, or buy and, and buy more gold and silver because it's going to be a safer bet for you. So uh, let me take a look over here at markets because again, uh, the homepage is not that great. And I love the Wall Street Journal. Don't get me wrong; you should read it. But as a friend of mine told me, read between the lines, uh, you'll make a lot more money reading between the lines. Uh, anyway, I think I explained that in another video what that means, uh, but you can figure it out. Uh, let's take a look here. Uh, again, nothing here in markets that's telling me uh, that uh, gold and silver is going to do anything here in the short term. However, I just know that they're just going to keep printing dollars. But I keep looking on here thinking that uh, economic turnaround, everything's going to be okay. And they have facts to back it up. And like I said, my next video would be to you, start selling your gold position. <laughs> uh, but I don't see that here. And uh, I don't see anywhere, actually. Uh, Let's take a look at one other thing here. I want to see if uh, they mention anything about gold and silver in the commodities section. It seems like they hate gold and silver. No, but they sure mention uh, copper here. Uh, copper and oil, uh, nothing about a gold and silver, but that's to be expected with Wall Street Journal. Anyways, this is Brian Kuzmar with Commercial Rare Coins and Precious Metals. Uh, we're in Lauderdale by the sea. I've been in this building right here, this little building we've been in since 1995. I've been doing this since 1977, worked for my father, who is still in Boca Raton. Um, he hasn't even watched one of my videos yet, though. <laughs> i got to send him one. But anyways, uh, I've been in this business a long time, and I, I know what I'm doing. So if you need advice or anything like that, uh, watch my videos first. When I can't answer in my videos, come by and talk to me about it. Meanwhile, if you want quotes... Uh, live quotes or anything, uh, 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 prices, uh, you want to know about some particular products if we have them or what our advice is on them, call me anytime at 954-493-8811 between the hours of 10 a.m. and 4 p.m. Mondays through Fridays. Happy to help you out. Anyway, have a great evening. Uh, watch me tomorrow. And please subscribe to my videos. It really helps me kind of know that uh, you're out there watching. And uh, I really appreciate it. Uh, thanks again and have a good evening.